This channel strictly adheres to ethical guidelines and does not support or encourage any illegal activities. The content shared here is purely for educational purposes. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a developer, designer, or just getting started with coding, you probably know how powerful APIs can be, but not every project has a budget for paid ones. In this video, I'll show you how to find completely free APIs you can use for your apps, websites, or school projects. From weather data to AI tools and public databases, we'll explore where to get them, how to generate API keys safely, and a few hidden gems most people miss. Let's dive in. Open your browser and go to rapidapi.com. Give the page a few seconds to load. Create an account to gain access. That's the first step to unlock access to tons of awesome free APIs. Here you go. You can now explore the huge range of API categories available. Everything you could possibly need for your projects is right here. Follow along carefully. Next, click View All Categories to continue. Locate Artificial Intelligence slash Machine Learning. Select Browse Category to proceed. Select ChatGPT4. Make sure you don't miss any step. Scroll down and select Image Processing. Choose Text to Image to proceed. Locate target on the top right and choose node.js from the options. No mistakes, this is very simple. Copy your API key carefully from the display. We will use it shortly. This is a project I recently completed which we'll use to illustrate how the API operates. The project integrates multiple endpoints to handle data exchange between the client and server efficiently. It demonstrates how requests are structured, how responses are handled, and how authentication and error management are implemented. This is where I pasted my API key inside the .env.local file this is actually a next.js app with Tailwind CS and TypeScript. Let me know in the comments section if you want me to do a full video to cover how to set up your environment and create such apps. Now let's proceed to run the application directly from the terminal. This step allows us to launch the app in a local development environment and observe how it interacts with the underlying system. This is an indication that the project is running without errors. Copy the local host URL. Next, paste the application's URL into your web browser to launch it. This step allows us to access the app's user interface and interact with its features directly. By loading the URL, we can verify that the server is running properly. Now observe how the system generates an image based on the provided prompts. This process demonstrates the model's ability to interpret textual descriptions and convert them into visual representations. As we run the prompt, the application processes the input, analyzes the context and keywords, and then produces an image that aligns with the details specified. This step highlights how artificial intelligence can bridge language and creativity, transforming written ideas into dynamic visual outputs. It's amazing, isn't it? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to share your comments or questions if you encounter any challenges while trying it out. Your feedback helps us improve and create even better content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming tutorials Updates and exciting new projects we'll be sharing soon.